Hey guys, it's Mirage again with another Photoshop tutorial and today I will be teaching you how to create a shattered text effect like this. Now before I start on the tutorial, I'd like to personally thank everyone who has been following our channel, has been subscribing, watching our videos, our tutorials, liking, disliking, sharing, commenting, and everything else in between. So thank you for following us and I am creating another tutorial today trying to keep my promise of creating at least two tutorials every week so here's today's tutorial of creating a shattering effect uh, a shattering text effect and let's get started so to start this uh, tutorial we we'll first go on file new and you can set this document to any size, but I'm going to keep it 600 by 600. I'm going to paint my background black, and then we're going to create a new layer by going to this icon down here. Or you can just go to layer, new layer. But So once you have the new layer, you want to use the soft brush tool, and that's what it looks like and we want to set it so it's pretty big enough to fit inside the uh, document size now I'm going to reverse that and choose the white color and I'm going to I'm going to color that on the new layer just like that and then just lower the opacity to whatever um, you think is good I don't like it to be too bright so I'm going to just keep it just like that, it's just for a little lighting in the background and once you have that just right click and then merge down so now we have that background ready now create a uh, text layer this time and write whatever text you want I'm going to keep Mirage again and just center it change the text color to gray well you can set it to your preference but in this tutorial I'm just going to set it to gray so once you whoops okay so once you have the shade that you want press ok now right click go to blending options create a stroke and make your stroke be a color that's in the background so from the white soft light that you use so just gonna click here and it gives us a slate gray and then press ok make the size to 1 and keep everything else the way it is on full opacity and then go on gradient overlay if, if the black and white gradients were not already there click it and you choose the black and white gradient and press ok now set the blend mode to soft light and raise the scale up to 150%. Now you can move it up and down to how you want it. So uh, I don't like it too dark and I don't like it too bright. So I'm going to have it right in between. This is a nice little fade from light to dark. And we're going to choose Babel Emboss. Keep it inner Babel. We're going to keep the size at 1 soften at zero and then you can choose what depth you want depending on um, your uh, text how big it is and your font as well so I'm going to keep it around 225 no that should be good 174 and then just press ok now this does not look like a, a rock or concrete so to add that you want to google search or wherever you find your textures and find a very rough texture like this this right here is a concrete texture but you can if you just search cracks or concrete or whatever you might find um, textures like these so you you want to take the texture and you want to overlay it on top of the uh, text. Now hold control and click the thumbnail of the text. So you should see the outline of uh, 
uh, your text or on the texture. Use the selection tool, right click, and click select inverse. Select your texture layer and press delete. And now go to select and deselect. So as you can see, it created the uh, the texture on the text itself and nothing else around it. Set the blending mode to soft light and lower the opacity to your liking. And as now you can see, there's like a real rough uh, feeling to your text. Now, deselect your background layer and then create a new layer. Then go to image, apply image, and press OK. Re show your background layer and now this time remove your text and the texture layer. Now we have this uh, text layer again but this time we don't see the effects which is good that's what we want because without t removing the effects um, like that you won't be able to proceed on the next steps. So after you create that later we're going to call this the uh, main text. Now use a polygon lasso tool. Uh, just right click on this and then click polygonal lasso tool. You want to choose parts of your text and just select it. Then you want to right click and click layer via cut. So it creates a new layer with just that diagonal and it lets you move it around. So you can rotate it whatever you want, you can shift it up down using your arrow keys, that would be more accurate. And or you can hold control and press T to go on to pre-transform or you go to edit and pre-transform. And if you go out to um the one of the corners squares you can see that it changes the arrows to this curved arrow it'll, and it will let you rotate the layer now so I'm going to rotate it a little now this is all up to you on how you want your uh, text to look like so I'm not going to uh, get much into detail because this is where you start to experiment on your text same thing with other parts that actually I don't want to uh, remove that so start doing that with other parts of your uh, text and when you create a new uh, layer via cut you can't do it on the new layer so you have to go back to main text right click and click layer via cut and now once again you can move it again once again go back to your main text choose a polygon lasso tool that was pretty bad okay so I'm going to use one of the legs now layer via cut and then move it around once again go back to your select the main text and now we'll work with the eye layer via cut shift it over I'll actually make this a diagonal just like that now there's several ways to uh, make this even better and I'm going to leave that up to you because that's a good way to learn how to um, learn Photoshop is by experimentation. So I'm going to let you experiment on how you can uh, make the effect bigger, uh, better. And I'll give you a hint. I've seen people take these different parts and add perspectives um, to their text. So you might want to look that up and see how you can create perspective and make it 
make the shadow look um, 3D. And if you have any questions on how to do it, so just message me and I will be glad to help you. Now for the A. Go back to meeting tags, right click, layer via cut, and shift it. Whoops. Go back to main text, layer via cut. I'm going to rotate this as well. And just move it. And there we go. We, we finished our shattering part. And now we want to add some light lighting. So click the top layer, create a new layer, go to image, apply image, and press OK. Now we'll go to filter, render, lighting effects. And you'll see something come up like this. So we want to create some lighting off diagonally to make it look more realistic. So if you spread the circle out, you can see it turns brighter. If you spread it in, it turns uh, smaller. But once we bring the diameter down, it will become brighter because the width is uh, bigger. If you bring it up, the lighting gets smaller. So that's how the render lighting works. So we're going to make it from diagonal and bring it up. So the lighting is coming from top left and we'll just increase that. Now you can mess with some settings also. So the more over you have, the more lighting you'll produce. The more positive to you have, it'll It'll add some uh, darkness around it. The more wide you have, the more wide the lighting will be. The less wide you have, the less it will be. So I'm going to have some medium. The width is going to be medium. I'm going to have it on over, turn up full so there's more lighting. And give it more positive as well. And we'll it full so it's not too bright. Now, make the blending more lighten, and just lower the opacity to your liking. And there you have it. That's how you create a shattered text effect in Photoshop. If you have any questions related to this tutorial or any other tutorial, you'd like to ask any questions about Photoshop generally, just hit me up a message, and I'll be glad to help you out. Um, subscribe, like, dislike, whatever it is, just do it and motivate me to move on to create more tutorials. That's it for today and see you next time.